User everyone. It's me. Mm -hmm. Yep, back at it again with one of those terrible stuff. So, uh, if you don't want to see it, just click away and unsub. And with that out of the way, let's start talking. So, most of you know now that uh, it was my first day. It was my first day. And uh, I really understand that people do not really care or do not want to wish me a happy birthday because I'm such a shitty person. Hell, it wasn't even that eventful. It was a fact full of, well, two errands and a birthday cake and Mortal Kombat 11. First errand I have had to go and go into it at the morning where, uh, where I've had to go to college so that I can literally do and fin pay off for the pay off the fees of the there is basically a thing in our university where you have to request that you would have your marks being looked into at uh, whatever subject you need and I did that like three days ago or four days ago and paid for it at that time and it was surprisingly a pretty quick errand next up uh, I've downloaded I've been downloading Mortal Kombat 11 be advised this was from my friend's uh, Steam family share library so really really big shout out to them without them i wouldn't be getting my mortal kombat living. and yes that was literally the only the only thing that i would consider it a gift and to myself honestly i'm not gonna lie it took me a lot of balls to just download that goddamn game i mean that game is like 116 gigabytes on steam you know especially the, the ultimate edition like holy fuck and of course and of course it was a really boring ass day all what I've got was a few uh, birthday wishes from a few people for discord and uh, twitter and birthday wishes from my family but no real gifts Got uh, got a meal from a pretty much a small meal delivered uh, from Burger King's, and uh, I've got myself a the birthday cake and pretty much the old tradition of celebrating the birthday, you know, pretty much the birthday song, birthday cake, and I was actually able to blow the candle. But I was supposed to be making a wish, but surprisingly, they were wait, you know, kind of waiting for me to just do that because power outage was going to happen at that time. And um, there was pretty much only one candle for some reason. And now I'm 22, by the way. I'm 22 years old now, and yet uh, things did not change for the best, at least after yesterday. Like, later on I got with my mom outside for a little errand, going around some stupid malls and closing shop because she needs some clothes, and eventually we sat down at uh, a, cof a coffee shop a cafe called cilantro I got myself a Maltesers uh, milkshake it was delicious it was pretty delicious to say the least and uh, yesterday I was able to play Mortal Kombat for a while Mortal Kombat for a while and Needless 
to say. It's a game that has a pretty much mixed up. You know, it's aimed for casual and competitive scenes. And surprisingly, there are tutorials that are talking to you about how much startup frames and how much delay frames and stuff like frame traps, edge trapping, uh, reversal, and basically lots of technical stuff that the FGC people talk about. And pretty crazy. You know, it's aimed, but the game is basically fine. Most characters play uh, pretty much decently. Then there is the story. Not too bad, not too hilarious, and not too boring. It's pretty average so far. I've reached it to Jade's chapter. And... Wow. The chemistry between Coral and Jade is fucking real. But, uh... At any case... And then the, the death of uh, current Sonia. And <laughs> Johnny tries to forget about the death of his wife. It's kind of heartbreaking, not gonna lie. But he really went into huge character development. Well, in any case, things were things were fine yesterday. It was. Things were pretty decent at my birthday, but nothing was too big happened aside of well, downloading Mortal Kombat 11. Today is where things getting fucked up. Like first off, my dad had woken me up for some stupid thing that never happened until like uh uh 6 p.m. literally. Basically, some delivery people for his stupid new TV. Like, seriously, he has money to buy some random stupid Samsung TVs, but not enough money to give me a single PS4 game. Especially Final Fantasy XV. I've seen it on Amazon today. Amazon of my country. And holy shit. It's fucking cheap. It's like $750. But can be, you know, afforded. Then again, my dad is a fucking a-hole, so, so... And I'm pretty sure the game's gonna get that. You know, it's gonna be fucking empty, because, you know... People get to buy games pretty fast, or some shit. Anyways, I woke up at like 9am because of my dad. And... And that resulted in an absolute unnecessary awakening. Not to mention I was home alone during the, those hours. <sighs> and been on Twitter. And guess what? In only the span of like uh, two, like ten minutes and a half, I lost two people. And once again, I went spiraling down to new depths of bullshit. And later on, my dad just shouts at me for the fucking for 200 goddamn gigabyte from 400 gigabyte being wasted like I know that there are 100 gigabytes being wasted from my game that's for sure but what the fuck has wasted 200 gigabytes once again I don't understand and that of course fucked up a good half of my day and made me pissed off not to mention someone someone from the people that they that I have been blocked why has has literally decided to randomly threaten me. Okay, cool. Did you go all this way to literally fucking do this to me? While your goddamn little friend has already done what they want and literally severed our fucking friendship as if we were never meant to be friends? Seriously. The, the nerf of people sometimes, I swear. Like, I'm not supposed to be cool when I am already losing people in the span of a fucking goddamn month. Especially when I've already lost a lot during the last months. And... And 
today we've got that new goddamn TV set up. And some other TV places have been switched. And let me tell you, I suppose it's pretty decent. After this I might probably just play some more, more Mortal Kombat 11. But it might be for a short time because I haven't been able to sleep well, honestly. But hey, um, I guess for the rest of the day, and I guess at the end of the day, and I realize I've been blocked by most of the same goddamn randoms from my last goddamn time, which means more regrets, more reflecting, and more suffering is ahead of me. I know it. But honestly, I mean, at this point, how much more my life can get fucked up? And it only gets worse because of Elon's new goddamn standards for the stupid DM limits. Daily message limit. Seriously. Daily message limit? What is this gonna be? An AI fucking chat app? How are we gonna fucking roleplay? How are we gonna do some specific good heated moment in a fucking in a fucking roleplay? Wow. I literally need to shut up because I'm literally talking about this as if I have been getting any fucking decent roleplays in the first place. <laughs> you know? I'm literally saying this as if I'm getting any bitches to fuck with in, in the roleplays. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. But yeah. In any case, message limit sucks. And of course, of course, as and as if it wasn't enough, more bullshit in there. I don't even know if I'm gonna ever be okay anymore. And uh, to the point that I have, I had to sleep at like 1:45 or 2 p.m. I woke up at 4 p.m. And that's where my dad's fucking shouting has fucking happened. Ugh, give me a fucking break. I don't care. <sighs> but honestly. Honestly, I don't even know. How long am I going to be suffering like this? Like. Really, God fucking hates me, and he's testing my fucking patience, and he knows damn well that I'm gonna fail in it, and he just brings more, brings more of that shit, really, because let's be honest here, God is an asshole, God is a huge fucking asshole, like, sure, I know people,
this thing was recording. Shit. Looks like I need to deal with my fault for a while. But anyways, like I was saying, it's like as a, a God is a fucking asshole to me and only me. Like sure, people have had it worse. Some other people have had it much worse. And I understand. But what I'm having is literally beyond any fucking human human comprehension. It's it's just a message from God that literally wants me to die. Really. God wants me dead. He wants me dead. I fucking know. He wants he's waiting for that one chance for me to just jump off the nearest balcony or my nearest goddamn uh, room window so that he can so he can just take me straight to hell. Right. It's absolutely like it's absolutely fucking bullshit. Like, sure, other people have had it worse, much worse, and I understand. And I've been seeing it most of the time, but what's happening again? What's happening in my life is just another reason for me to fucking give up. I've lost all of my old friends, lots of the ones that I really used to care for. A whole fucking family, and then I have lost, and then I have lost my educational efficiency by me failing college for the third time, going into second year with two goddamn subjects failed up, and already had to make some kind of a request and paid for that request, the fees of that request, for, so that the marks can. Get, get up for a little bit. <sighs> and now, uh, and, uh, and now, uh, I'm just keeping on losing myself more and more. Really. And remember when I have been keeping on saying that video games make me happy? Video games are the only way to satiate me. They sure satiate me, but they don't make me as happy as I used to be. In fact, video games do not excite me anymore. And in a very rare moment, I get excited and be hyped up for video games. And uh, Mortal Kombat 11, to be honest, was one of those rare cases. As well as Street Fighter 6. And Final Fantasy 15, and a few others to mention. And really, it's a. Uh, it's kind of something, if you ask me. Really. <clears throat> it's kind of something, if you ask me. But the excitement and the serenity and all of the good vibes that I used to feel are long gone. I mean, sure, I've been getting some good vibes every now and then whenever I play the t world tour mode in my Street Fighter 6 demo. Yes, I still have the demo and never been able to buy the full game. I probably never will. You know? And, uh... Or when I play some Tomb Raider, any of the Tomb Raider 1 port or the Anniversary Remake. Or when I, I don't know, I guess play a little bit of Mortal Kombat 11, especially it's story mode. Or, um, I don't know, again, in other words. There are a few cases that video games make me feel fine, but as the rest, it's not making me feel as good as I used to be. Not even my Nintendo Switch and my Smash and Naruto Trilogy or even the uh, 
Smash Bros or Mario Kart that make me feel good anymore. Or even the Yakuza trilogy. None of that makes me feel good anymore. So, I don't know. I feel empty, alone, and very desperate, honestly. And I became so desperate to the point of wanting to at least have a hug and a kiss from any real woman that isn't my mom, that isn't my stupid aunt, that isn't my goddamn grandma. Really. Real woman. A real woman. A hug and a kiss from me. That's literally literally all what I need legitimately because really if if having feelings and being you know the only guys that feels and all of this kind of stuff is gonna be like that then there's no fucking point if not even a single woman is gonna even attempt or even do a little bit of an effort to hug and kiss me at the very least. Yes, I am that fucking desperate. A hug and a kiss. And since I live in an Arab country, and there is religion in the fucking whole thing, it's two times fucking worse. It's near impossible. Unless you're a little kid, or an old man, or a girl, you get no kisses and no hugs. Unless if you're some kind of a hunk of junk of man. And honestly, I am never gonna put in the effort for any of that. Or nor even gonna put the effort to make myself white. Or cut, make my hair go absolutely insane. Or with some sort of stupid steroids and buffed up muscles, whatever. Seriously. I'm done putting in efforts in anything in my life. I put efforts in my studies, it's gone. Efforts in my gaming, gone. Efforts in my love life, gone. Efforts in my friendships, gone. And the worst of all, it just keeps going. So why the fuck am I supposed to make an effort in my life when my efforts are all in vain? And, uh, that's where I'm gonna be ending this whole thing. And, uh, I'm gonna see you all later. And let's hope this is the last time I'm gonna be doing this kind of thing. Otherwise, my life is fucked up. My life is as good as fucked up. In fact, I'm imagining myself already as a hobo in the streets. Which is honestly has never been any more true of Russia. My future is fucked. So yeah. See you all later.